this is what we've stopped for. A lovely little bit of woodland full of fallen branches and boughs and kindling just ready for us to gather. Well, at the end of the last episode, we left you in a beautiful, quiet mooring spot. Today, we're heading closer towards Napton, um, but we stopped about a quarter of a mile after the mooring because we found a nice little woodland with loads of wood that we uh, sawed up that'll keep us going for the next couple of days. So yes, we're heading towards Napton. There are lot closures there, uh, delayed for a week because of the winds and the gales that we've had, fair enough. So um, we're gonna, get to the bottom of the locks and just wait it out for a week and do some walking around there but we're heading in that direction but where we need to be is in that direction 90 degrees away such is the winding uh, nature of this canal so we'll be winding our way doing several miles just to get a mile as the crow flies but it's a beautiful day and I'll put the camera at the front here and let you watch where we're going One friend. I'm having a bit of trouble. <laughs> Look at the U bend. I've just been round and the canal is quite shallow. And as soon as the back of the boat gets into shallow water, it really doesn't like steering round. Um, I'm a big fan of bow thrusters all of a sudden. <laughs> but I haven't hit the side yet, I think. I'm not a big fan of these straggly bits in this pot. Uh, you were happy enough when you had rocket and spring onions for your salad the other night, I seem to remember. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> interested in there rich oh there's some great stuff in here friend it's a great article on how to have great hair at any time in your life well that'll be useful then 
But what is useful and interesting? Floating our boat review. Woohoo! Of our podcasts. So if you're not listening to our podcasts, there's a link below. We've really hit it big time now. Woman and Home, April issue. Yesterday we uh, sanded down the tops with the electric sander. Everything. <laughs> it's everywhere. It's like every bit of the boat has got dust on it. Even up in the bedroom, the dust has gone everywhere. Yeah, but uh, we've got some nice tops now, haven't we? Lovely. Gone back to uh, like they're brand new. So it's superb. Danish Isle, and the smell is gorgeous in here. It's like a new boat, isn't it? It is. It's lovely. <laughs> So we've had time to kill, so yeah. this is what we've been doing. Yes. Everything is back up in the air again. All our plans that we described a couple of videos ago that where we're going, what we're doing, out the window now. <laughs> um, first of all, the locks that were supposed to open on the 25th of February are still closed ahead of us in Napton. Uh, they're running behind. It's unforeseen that you can't blame them. You know, they're doing their best. Um, so we've been stuck here now and hopefully it's what's the 8th today, 8th of March today and tomorrow they've promised that the locks will be open. Tomorrow lunchtime. The guys on the ground actually working when I spoke to them last week were a little less positive about it being open <sighs> this week. So we actually, they said it wasn't going to open. We decided to turn around and head that way because we've got some friends coming on the boat next week. Um, and we need to be on a nice area for them. So we turned around, started heading that way. Now we're told that they're opening lunchtime tomorrow. Mm. So we're sitting here waiting. And whatever happens tomorrow, we've got to go about 10 miles or 20 miles. I don't know, either way, before our friends can take over the boat. But we don't know which way we're going until tomorrow lunchtime. Until tomorrow lunchtime. <laughs> because there's too many locks either way for them to um, to contend with as being newbies on board. So we're doing a house swap for a week. We're going up to Lancashire, which will be great. We've got a house and a car for a week. Yeah, <laughs> and they're having the boat for a week. So that's going to be good fun, isn't it? I think it's, we're going to, I'm going yeah. to enjoy having a bit of space around us. It's, it's going to be lovely. It's just nice to have that change and have, you know, we live a very, very basic, simple life. And it's just nice to sometimes kick back. I'm hoping they've got a bath. I don't actually know that. Ooh, I hadn't thought about that. They've got a nice garden and we're near to the coast and we can just kick back and relax. And they can have um, all the excitement and the hard living for a week. You know what they say, <laughs> don't you? Possession is nine tenths of the yeah, law, so we could claim know. squatters rights yeah. when we're there. <laughs> <laughs> no, we wouldn't do that. We'll be ready to come back, I think. I think so. so. So the other thing that's um, stopping us from moving is, uh, being where we want to be that is, is the boat has got to come out of the water. We've got a very leaky uh, prop gland system at the back where the prop comes into the boat and the prop from the engine meet together and it's dripping more than it should do. So the boat's still under warranty and it's got to go back to the boat builders out in Moss to have it pulled out of the water and have that fixed. Yeah. To say we weren't happy when we realised that that's what we've got to do uh, is, well, it is what it is. At the end of the day, we've got to do it. It has to be done. So yeah. we've just got to live with that. You and know, there's a few um, other little minor things that we probably wouldn't have worried about unless we were going to go back. Um, but as we're going to go back, we might as well ask them to get everything um, back to as it was when it was a new boat. Um, and that's it, you know. But we were hoping to be there, weren't we, almost? But because the lock's been closed for two weeks longer than it should have been, we're, we're nowhere near. So no. we're, we're just hoping to, to be there it. by the end of March. I think it's going to be the middle of April, probably. If we've got to go the other way, it's going to be even longer. But you know, as you said, there's absolutely nothing we can do. We have no control no. over these locks. So you just have to keep reassessing and work with it. So that is where we are. So we've got to go all the way back up to Cheshire through Harecastle Tunnel where we've <laughs> scraped the boat a couple of times on the way down. And uh, then what we're going to do is actually turn around once we've had the boat back in the water, turn around, come back almost to where we are now and then cruise, <laughs> take up where we're intending to cruise through the Trent, uh, Trent River Trent up to Nottingham and then up to... Uh, up north. Chesterfield Canal up north. 
So it's um. It just feels like for two years now we've we've not really when we got the boat apart from going um on the well we've done quite a lot of new stuff we did the saw and the mersey and mm. another river weaver. That I can't remember the, <laughs> the weaver. weaver we did do quite a lot of new stuff but we've been on the same ground for really for about two years now since we Ish, decided to yeah. get the boat since we decided to have a new boat we've been all around this area we just really craving to be somewhere new but uh next month we've been on this boat a year so the warranty runs out in a few weeks but unbelievably last weekend <laughs> we've been on uh saturday wasn't it we've been on the canal system living on the canals we picked up our keys for constanza uh four years ago yeah. last weekend yeah unbelievable yeah it's just gone so quick it has done it has gone so quickly but we have done so much as well haven't we yeah, but um yeah. yeah i can't believe it i can't believe it it's been a long long winter it's been ah, full of sadness full of yeah. grief and i just wanted to be cruising now to be free of uh Sad, Sad thoughts. thoughts. You want to have distract. You want to have yeah. something fun. We want to have some fun back now. Yeah, we do. Unfortunately, today we've got to go in the wind to the water point mm -hmm. and then down to the marina to top up with some coal, diesel, um, and some, and diesel, some diesel and gas. So that is going to be an arm <laughs> and a leg. You better get a um, checkbook out. Is there such a oh, thing anymore? Well, you know, the price of <laughs> fuel is at its highest now. It has been forever. I think. Yeah, it's just crazy. So we've got to go and do that and turn around and come back here and then just watch um, the notices for tomorrow and then decide what we can do. Fortunately, there's a winding hole by the water point here. So whatever happens tomorrow, we can go whichever way we need yeah, to go. Yeah. Um, and I've got a stack load of washing to do. So we've got a day of chores, really. But it's gorgeous and we have to get out for a walk. We do. Don't we, dogs? So just a quick little short video today just to let you know what's happening and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Yes. Cheers.